Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising monthly tarot reading for January 2019 and uh, as I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again that this is a general reading for Scorpio star sign and therefore it's going to resonate differently and on a different level for every single different Scorpio in this planet. So for that for that reason in this video I will do my best to uh, explain you the uh, meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread birth, but for biggest accuracy you also have to help it guys by uh, making sense of my explanations according to your personal situations now if you want me to do that for you uh, just like I'm doing for the examples in this video well that is the subject of a personal reading and for personal readings uh, please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing also if you go for that option don't forget that till the end of December the prices for the 20 and the 30 minutes live reading with me are with reduced costs so <clears throat> if you want your questions answered that is definitely the way you do it so Wow, I, that, that is going to be a bit of a crazy month, uh, Scorpio, a lot of things to do here for what it seems. This can be shown here in these couple of cards. We do have some uh, predicaments, quite of a challenge here actually with the Seven of Wands. Now when we go there and we draw additional card for that position, I could be able to tell you a bit more. Uh, <clears throat> so we have to be here very careful what kind of uh, enterprises and undertakings we are taking on throughout this month because we do have a danger wasting our time with some of them while with others uh, we are going to be quite efficient now uh, I'm very curious when we dive into the uh, enhanced reading enhanced reading means that I'm going to draw additional card per single position here per every single position and that is going to give us a, a bigger clarity upon the situation so two of Pentacles into the main position is accompanied by the wheel of fortune so as I said quite of a crazy month many things to do now the thing with these couple of cards is that they are friendly at the they are neutral passives all right <laughs> and uh, when we do have neutral passives that that kind of means here that many of the things especially in, bet in between these couple of cards so we are going you are going to have affinity upon one thing over another with these couple of cards and many many new um, many new enterprises and many new undertakings that are to appear for us into the month of January and as I'm talking right now I'm just now imagining my manager coming up with a bunch of uh, new ideas you know for what the content I should cover for the next year but anyway yeah so many of those new undertakings that are gonna come into our way either through our managers through our bosses or through our you know romantic relationship partners and etc etc are going to sound and look very tempting right and they will take a priority or we are going to be prone to make to prioritize them in front of current responsibilities or current undertakings and you need to know that there is nothing wrong with that but the dynamic of those couple of cards here it says one word and it means juggling so you can um, fill up your basket if I may express myself that way with as much activities as you can but that should not be if for an, an expense of a uh, current and additional uh, responsibilities all right so uh, what this month is talking about here or what the topic of the month is going to be where you are uh, filling up your time if I may express myself that way with meaningful new enterprises and new undertakings to a point where you're gonna feel yourself quite busy relationship or career wise or maybe as well both because the wheel of fortune is talking especially if we're looking at in a, from a career perspective 
quite of a busyness to a point where one thing is coming after another you will not be able to catch up your breath even but hey if you love your job well that is going to be a pure blessing if you have if you hate your job then these cards can actually play out for you in a sense where you can attract a, a private additional job that is going to keep you occupied and you're going to make money from it the thing with these couple of cards is that if you are playful and if you're capable capable to juggle with uh with the newness in general that comes in your way uh, then you will always end up on the beneficial side the next card that we do have that is the seven of cups and this is the intention so what you should intend to do or what kind of what what is the best possible course of action for the duration of the month the accompanied card of the seven of cups this is going to be the high priestess and what we do have here guys is actually uh it's kind of like a breakthrough all right, because uh, uh, what these cards here are pointing, uh, I, I can stretch the reading as much as I want. But what these cards really are saying is that many, or it's, if not even a many, even just one of our dreams from the past that seemed kind of like ridiculous and preposterous for us, is now going to sound more and more logical and it's going to sound more and more achievable. So what that card, these cards here are pointing is that your dreams just just think about it like that your dreams are just like the mother's dreams for her children are they fantasies or seeds growing will yet remain to be knowing so uh, these cards here are uh, advising you uh, intentional wise you know not to get yourself discouraged if you cannot find much time at that specific moment to work out on the biggest dream of yours and uh, you know many people who are finding themselves discouraged they may drop that dream of the of the plaza and move more to the chores part of their routine if I may express myself that way but what these cards here are pointing is that you should always keep in the back of your mind your biggest dream throughout the month of January that at least because who knows we are talking here about a, a crazy routine one thing comes after another and you don't know what thing is going to come in your way and maybe exactly the means you need in order to make your preposterous dreams a dream materialize are going to come around and you will be able to capitalize on them that is very very important because the high priest is when we're talking about the grand scheme of things means couple of things first it may mean secret you know that is the most superficial interpretation of the card so these may intentionally wise these cards could literally tells you you know keep secrets of your dreams or keep your dreams in secrets but on a more profound level the high priestess is about the uh, inner tenacity with which we are moving forward it's kind of like knowing that even if now it's not the time to materialize our dreams that time is going to come around and even if we are right now over overburdened it's not even the overburden but let's say swarmed by uh, our new activities and new responsibilities you know new projects new tasks new 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 activities for example into our relationship as well that doesn't mean that there is no room for our sacred dream and we always have to carry it within us so these are the intentions here you know they are kind of separated from the main topic because the main topic is going to be so dynamic that there is no right formula how you should approach it as a these this card these cards are saying here you have to be playful you should go forward with no exact plan you you should go forth for day by day you know today um <clears throat> you may do one thing and tomorrow something else could be much more beneficial than today so it's going to be like i said very dynamic in crazy month but you need to keep on your uh, your aims and your uh, long-term goals carried with yourself instead of forgetting about them either career-wise or either relationship-wise. The next card that we do have here, Scorpio, this is going to be the Seven of Wands accompanied with the Nine of Wands. So we are looking here about uh, for an enemy, guys. I mean, that is a rival. It's antagonist. 
that is someone who I cannot say really hate you, right? But they don't like you at all, or they don't like us. That is a competition, and that competition really plays dirty with these cards. Now, the the, the good thing here with the nine of wands, and actually I'm very happy seeing this card in that position, means that we are going to be always and always throughout the months of January at least one step ahead. We will know how they think and we will know how what they are going to do now and we have to of course make precautionary or take a precautionary measures. If we don't, well that is on ourselves and we can't blame anybody else for what someone could do to our business or could do to our relationship. Personally as I'm doing right now this reading I cannot think of someone who could be my my enemy, you know, but yet this is for the month of January, so I don't know how January is going to turn out, you know, maybe on the 2nd or the 3rd of January something is going to happen and I'm going to win a an enemy of mine and etc, etc. But the thing here is, guys, is that you're going to have a quite of a competition. Now, if I, I have to follow the very general uh, manifestation of these cards, what they are saying here is that most likely through false testimonies uh, or testimonials or false um, gossips, rumors and etc. your situation either career or relationship wise is going to start changing to a point where you will kind of start losing control and grasp upon it and uh, that is even more dreadful when we when we see the topic of the situation saying that it is going to be crazy anyway you know it's going to be uh, a po it's going to be a time where you will have a little control upon what kind of an enterprises and undertakings are coming in your way which is a good thing from one side because again gives you a lot of opportunities but from another side you know it kind of un it is kind of unpredictable and you can't call the shots you can't say okay i'm going to just invest into that thing and the others go to hell and the other things go to hell you know you just have to basically juggle with all of them and uh, these people most likely people you know multiple people are going to take advantage of that and uh, they will try to exploit your to exploit your weaknesses. But with the nine of wands here, it does look like that you can we Scorpio can really take a precautionary measure for that. We do have the tools, and uh, the key for these cards, uh, or to overcome these cards, the nine of wands and the seven of wands, it is first patience. Patience is perseverance here. Second, we have to be vigilant and we should not be afraid to make a retaliation. And under retaliation, I mean interception. So let's say it is about rumors. The rumors are start spreading for you a nasty rumors, all right? And instead of keeping a silent treatment, you know, thinking that, well, these are just rumors, you know, and uh, people will not pay attention to them after three days because in our country we do have such a sentence, you know, every miracle is for three days. <clears throat> so, and after that everybody forgets about it. Well, this is not going to go away easy, right? And the more you keep ignorance about the influence of those people or this person into your affairs, the more escalation it's going to start happening and these problems, these predicaments that these people are, are ex exerting into um, in all your activities is going to escalate to a point where unfortunately you will not be able to control it and uh, it's, it's going to become very difficult for you to make progress moving on forward. So for the sake of all guys, Scorpios, as soon as you see someone hostile towards your business, towards your relationship or towards you in general, try to solve the matters at hand, you know, do not postpone the confrontation because otherwise, as I said, it's going to escalate to a point that confrontation will not be on, on the line any longer, it's not going to do any good. So we do have here the guidance, uh, four of cups with the ace of cups. So uh, that that is very good combination, and in the grand scheme of things, very well relates to the topic of the situation because the Ace of Cups, in the grand scheme of things, that is the love for life in general. You know, many tarot readers are interpreting as a uh, 
but a romantic love, then they are interpreting two of cups as a romantic love, ten of cups as a romantic love, every cups card is a romantic love for many of the tarot readers, but in general, the uh, ace of cups, it is the love for life, or if we uh, make a, a practical um, incorporation of the card in our lives, it means the love for uh, surprises. So, these cards here are pointing as a guidance that if you are patient enough and determined enough to make a, a positive change into your life, Scorpio, or to make we to make positive change into our lives, this change is going to come through a, a very exhilarating and joyful enterprise or a, a new beginning. That could be as well a new beginning, new love. You know, it could turn out into a new love, but in generally, that is the love for the newness and the love for the surprise that is to happen, which is going to fill up our heart with overflowing joy. And uh, through that overflowing joy, um, our reality, daily reality, is going to transcend. And uh, the Four of Cups here is pointing, you know, that we should not take, with the Ace of Cups, we should not take, you know, this dynamic... Uh, here with the Two of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune uh, from the bad side of the matter because for example I'm giving myself as an example I am a guy who does not like change I will be honest with you guys I I don't like newness it's just like because I sort myself out you know I have uh, a fairly kind of peaceful life there is nothing going on the kind of like uh, different going on with me are many people can classify my life as a, a boring one well I like to classify it as a settled one so personally kind of like it, it it pains me to see those couple of cards here because that means that my peace is going to be disrupted one way or another because I have to do so many different things throughout the month of January but hey these cards here, as I said, they're pointing that we cannot sit in the same place. And now what we're, what we're doing in the month of December, Scorpios, according to this guidance for the month of January, is that we are consuming the final fruits of our previous labor. And now we have to find a, a new field for a labor in order to build up for ourselves or to sow for ourselves new fruits so we can harvest afterwards. And if we are patient enough, the right direction or rather like the right enterprise is going to pop up somewhere along uh, along the way here with the from the flow of opportunities coming in in our way and we will be able to capitalize on it and to take a, a full advantage of it whatsoever the last one that will be the nine of pentacles which is the final outcome with a the judgment card so what we do see here it is a uh, a very potent ending uh, now these cards could speak for a new job or it could speak for truly a new partner. By the way, if this is a, a, a relationship reading, I would just say, you know, even though you do have, I will just, you know, I will make an example for a relationship. Let's say that you are single, right? And you have multiple opportunities here. So many people are coming and going from your life and uh, you will have no problem attracting people here with these cards. Uh, but not every one of them is going to suit you as a matter of fact very little of them and that's why you are keeping up your criteria in the back of your head your um, you know your goal what the next what your partner in romantic relationship should be all right and in the same time you do have a jealous friend seeing how much attention you do get from the people that are entering into your social circle and that's why this friend of yours is spreading nasty rumors upon the newcomers so they hopefully lose an interest in you and that's why you have to intercept those rumors and prove them wrong and then the guidance is telling you that you should not involve yourself with any with just someone you know but if you are patient enough the one that falls into the most of your criteria here even though they looked celluloid in the past now you know as you are seeing that flow of many people that are coming around 
one of them is going to fit with the most of those criteria, and that will truly accelerate you and is going to make as I said your daily reality transcend and as we go uh, and as we are approaching the the end of the month you are going to realize that that is the woman or the guy that is the big fish you have waiting you have waiting for all right and etc etc and same could be taken as a as a career you know either with searching a new job or either with uh, um, applying for a promotion or you know trying to get on a project same thing could happen we do we may have a jealous co-worker here or just someone jealous and etc etc but at the end i do think that they will not be able to obstruct you from getting that lucrative um, promotion lucrative project or a new job or you know being in a harmonious relationship should you go for it so that being said, Scorpios, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for January 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, this was a general reading for Scorpio and therefore it will resonate differently and on a different level with every single one of you as you are different from each other. So uh, for that purpose, I did explain the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but once again to make it the most accurate as possible that will depend on you guys to make sense of those cards according to your situation now if you want your situation to be put under anal uh, um, to be analyzed excuse me by me uh, by drawing tarot cards for it well that is a subject for personal reading and for, for for personal reading you can go to my website and there you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing and uh, don't forget that till the end of December I the, the prices for the 20 and the 30 minutes are now with reduced costs so rat signing out now see you next time bye